What's up everyone? My name's Chris and welcome back to my channel. Now a little while back I posted an unboxing and review video for this touchless foam with soap dispenser from Better Living. Now we placed this in our bathroom and have been using it for a little over a month now and it's been working like a champ. So today I'm back to review a new graphite version which was just recently released. Now I'm going to share with you my thoughts and tell you if this works just as good as the previous model and then let you know what I think about this new graphite version. So we'll see how well it works and if I'd recommend buying one for yourself. So, it seems like the coronavirus isn't going to go away anytime soon, and new variants just keep on popping up. This makes washing your hands regularly even more important, and in general, it's just plain hygienic, and a good habit to do so. Now these dispensers are nice because soap comes out as a foam, which is the form in which soap is most effective. Now if this graphite gray version is anything like the previous glossy white version, I'm going to assume that it's going to be just as durable and just as great of a product. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that this soap dispenser comes in a dual graphite gray color. The bottom base is a glossy dark gray graphite color and then the top is a light metallic graphite matte color, which is pretty cool. It's not glossy like the previous white one, but it looks just as cool when it's gray. Now I personally think that this color is pretty awesome looking. It definitely matches with the metallic appliances all around this kitchen, so I have a feeling that I'm going to be using this in this kitchen. Now just like the previous version, this one is also fingerprint resistant. At least it doesn't get fingerprints very easily, which is always a nice thing to have just because you don't want to be cleaning your soap dispenser as well. So you're also going to want to remove the instructions which are connected to the soap dispenser. Oh, and it does come with a fold-out instruction manual. Now, like the glossy white one, this one does require four AA batteries, which is not included with the packaging, so you're gonna have to buy those yourself and install them. But they do install pretty easily. You simply just have to remove the cover, pop the top, which has the label for the battery, so you know which way you're putting them in. Positive. Negative, positive, and negative. You put the lid back on, and you stick it back in. Then you twist to lock. Now to power it on, you just have to press and hold the power button and you'll see a green light, and that tells you it's on. Now with the batteries installed, this device should last up to six months without having to replace the batteries. So far, this white one has lasted us a little over a month and a half, which is more than some of our rechargeable dispensers, which is definitely nice. But I'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye out over the next five months to see how well it handles and lasts. Now in order to fill this dispenser up, all you have to do is remove this rubber adapter cover and then fill the reservoir with your soap. Now previously I did use liquid hand soap, but in this case, because I'm probably going to use this for the kitchen, I'm going to use dishwashing detergent or dishwashing soap. So all you have to do is fill it up with your favorite dishwashing soap and then add water. Once that's done, you want to wipe off any excess water because this will be touching the battery cover. And then put the rubber adapter cover back on. You'll also want to make sure that you don't overfill it. Now you want to cover it up and shake it up a little bit, I guess, just to make sure the soap mixes with the water, which will improve the lather and consistency of the soap. Now just like the previous one, the instructions say to avoid using soaps with beads and granular particles in them. And the ratio of water to soap is typically 1 to 3 or 1 to 4, which I guess I might have put a little bit too much, but we'll see how it works. And you'll want to stick the tube back in the hole, twist, and then it's back on. And now to test it, to see how it works. 
And I'm pretty excited because previously with other brands of soap dispensers, they weren't able to handle dishwashing soap so well. In fact, most of them either got stuck, stopped working, or didn't dispense soap at all. So if this one can do that, I'm gonna be super excited about this dispenser. So let's go ahead and power this on by pressing the power button, now that it's green, and then we will put our hand under it. And it works great. So as you can see, the soap is very lathery, it's smooth and silky, and it feels a little bit like mousse. So that's definitely one up for this soap dispenser. Now I also mentioned this before with the glossy white dispenser. What's cool is the power button is a tactile touch sensitive button, which is good because you don't need to worry about a wet touch ruining the device. Now as you can see, the foam is pretty silky and it feels a lot like mousse. So this is pretty much the consistency you want, as I understood. Now if you want it a little bit stringier, just add less water. But for most of us, you know, we want to make sure it's foamy because this is where the cleaning magic happens. Now just like this other dispenser, there should be a number of different ways to use this soap dispenser. One of course is to hold your hand under it and wait for soap to dispense. I'm just going to keep this towel over here. Now it'll either stop dispensing soap on its own, or you can pull your hand away from it and it'll stop. Of course that'll leave a little bit of a stringy mess right there. So what I've learned to do is to hold your hand under the soap and then wipe your hand across the dispenser itself. That way it'll keep it clean. Now the other way to dispense soap is to double tap the power button, which will serve as a manual way to dispense soap. So you can simply just double tap and it will dispense soap. Of course, that's not something you'll wanna do because it'll leave a mess. Now if you have kids, it makes sense because then you can just go up to them, double tap, and then the soap will dispense for them. Now just like the previous one, when you use this pump, you can also adjust the volume of soap that's dispensed by simply just tapping the power button. So if I read the instructions correctly, you tap once and you'll get a short blink, which is the least amount of soap, which is that much. And then if you tap again, you'll get two blinks, which is a medium sized amount, which as you can see is a little bit more minus the stuff that's on my hand. If you tap a third time, it blinks three times, which is the most amount of soap. So as you can see, a lot more. Minus the soap on my hand again. So it took me a while to figure that out just because there are so many indicators on there, but you know, if you read the instructions carefully, it's pretty clear. So because I'm using this for dishwashing detergent, I'm going to use the most just because I want to use the most detergent to make sure that my dishes and plates are all clean. Now one thing to keep in mind though is that every time you power this off all your settings reset to default so you'll want to always leave this on instead of just powering it off and this is meant to be on all the time anyway so that's a good thing about this and it being on all the time so it should last you six months. I'd also say that being able to adjust the amount of foam is great for different sized hands and to make sure you aren't wasting soap when it comes to smaller hands or larger hands. Now the last feature is the lock and unlock feature, which is great if you have kids, just because you know this is gonna become a game to them. I know when I first got this, I was pressing and using this thing like crazy. Now all you have to do is press and hold the power button and it'll blink red to mean it's locked. So as you'll see, no soap will dispense. no matter what they do. So it is kid and adult proof when it comes to having just fun with this thing because it is pretty fun to use. Now to deactivate it, all you have to do is press and hold the power button again and it'll turn green and it'll be on again. Now I'd say these soap dispensers make washing your hand fun and in fact it makes it a game. So if you want to get your kids to wash their hands, definitely get one of these. Now again, one thing that you have to be conscious of is that this soap dispenser is not waterproof, which means that you can't submerge it in water. It is, however, splash proof as long as it's standing upright. And in fact, it has an IPX3 rating, which is always good. So you can place this near the sink or anything, and as long as it's not getting submerged in water, it's great. Now, if you want to get one for yourself, you can either choose between the glossy white one or the graphite gray one, or you can even get both of them. 
You definitely can't get enough of these and there's plenty of places to put these around the house. They each cost about $30 a piece and you can get them at betterlivingproductsusa.com. And like before, if you use my code CLO10 during checkout, you can get an extra 10% off on your order. Now price-wise, these are great and that 10% discount also makes a big difference. This is a great deal and I especially love the finishes. I also love the tactile multifunctional power buttons on the top of these and I'm pretty happy with the battery life so far. In fact, the battery life is enough for me to not make me wish for a rechargeable unit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and review. I'll go ahead and leave a link to these dispensers in the description section below as well as my personal code that you can use to get an additional 10% off. On your way out, please make sure you smash that like button and also subscribe. Go ahead and also ring that bell icon as well so you can get notified when I post new content. Until next time, see ya.